All for the grid is to, new, is to attenuate those X-ray beams that are not utilized again for the production of the fluoroscopic image. Okay. Um, the image intensifier has sets of different um, lenses and um, fluoroscopic barriers that convert the image into a visible light that's being transmitted into the optical coupling video camera and then to the monitor. Um, okay. So um, that fluoroscopic image uh, chain is, is basically utilized in all types of different extra. They are different fluoroscopic uh, devices also, the one that can be attached to the table, the ones who can be attached to the wall. Uh, the one that we use is the, the mobile one, which is being, um, has the most of the usage in uh, fluoroscopic guided procedures. Now, with each usage of the radiation, uh, we have to consider uh, pr the procedure to be as safe as possible. And the safety guidelines follow um, philosophy of ALARA, which is the as low as reasonable achievable ra radiation. We should utilize every possible ways to reduce the radiation exposure to us and the person inside the room. Okay. Uh, the X-ray, before we go to the uh, different strategies how to decrease the radiation exposure, we will go through the the way that the radiation is being directed in different uh, locations. Um, the primary beam that is utilized for the pro production of the fluoroscopic image carries with it different radiation that is scattered around. Okay? And uh, there are different types of scattered radiation. The first one is the um, primary scatter, which basically comes from the uh, sources through which the x-ray goes through. So, for example, a table and a patient. As the radiation enters the patient, it's being scattered horizontally toward the uh, environment. Then the x-ray beam, as it goes into the uh, image intensifier, uh, you have a secondary scatter, which actually is directed as a reflection from the image intensifier. Um, outside toward the environment and also uh, a consideration is for something called soup house leakage which can happen in defective equipment. The sum of all those scattered radiation is called stray radiation. The annual exposure of the stray radiation for the personal performing procedure should be uh, uh, less than um, uh, 10 um, millisieverts uh, and for the person less than one. Um, there are typically they are in radiation um, physics the two main units that are utilized is the dose equivalent and the absorbed dose. The dose equivalent, the old uh, units um, was uh, radom and sievert. Uh, uh, the old unit was radom and the new one is a sievert. And an absorbed dose, the old unit was uh, uh, gray. Uh, I'm sorry, the new one is gray, and the old one was, was red. Um, radiation uh, safety. The, what's important to consider is time of the exposure, the distance, and the barriers that we can utilize. Um, most of the fluoroscopic x-rays, they utilize either a continuous, pulse, a continuous dose or a pulse dose. The uh, pulse dose usually provides decreased radiation exposure and has a less blur in an image. And um, that's pro what primarily we use to um, produce image from the, during the uh, procedures. Um, The, so the time of the exposure, at the less of the time we use to produce radiation, the less exposure we will have. 
Uh, the, the other f f part is the, uh, the distance, which is uh, uh, directly proportional to the uh, square of the distance from the radiation source to the um, person performing procedure. Um, in that, saying that, um, whenever you stay at the table and perform procedure, you should stay as far as you can and still be comfortable performing procedure. Each time you use the, um, the button when you press, uh, then you should use as little as possible time uh, to make the, the image. Um, another thing are barriers that uh, are used to uh, increase the safety of radiation. The primary one we use is the apron. And a um, long time ago, the aprons were primarily lead-based. Today, there is a mixture of different materials, heavy metals, to make the, uh, the apron um, lighter. And the other part is the, uh, the thyroid shields, the glasses. And some tables have uh, railing to which you can attach a, a special uh, a barrier, which is basically the same material as the apron. Uh, so this way you can attenuate a lot of the uh, radiation that you otherwise would be exposed to. Um, other things that at can attenuate the radiation is the table and the uh, foams that frequently we used to help position the patient. <coughs> um, any questions? That's probably uh, covers most of the basics of the uh, fluoroscopic imaging and radiation safety and um, um, further topics will be uh, provided you know in the uh, next uh, next uh, during next lectures thank you